everyone, in this video, I would like to share with you how to pick stocks using Return on Equity, ROE. Before that, I will walk through with you how to calculate ROE using a simple example. Company A has two shareholders that contribute $50 each to run the business. Total shareholder equity is $100. Company B has three shareholders that also contribute $50 each to run the business. Total shareholder equity is $150. At the end of the year, both companies generated a profit of $30 after netting the total expenses. To calculate ROE return on equity, the formula is net income divided by total shareholders equity. For company A, its ROE is 30%. For company B, its ROE is 20%. As an investor, which company will you choose to invest in? Company A or company B? The answer is company A. Why is it so? We prefer companies with higher ROE. Although both company A and B generate the same profit of $30, However, looking into their ROE, company A is actually doing better. For the $100 it received, it generated $30 of profit. In other words, every dollar you give to company A, it earns you $0.30. Cent. On the other hand, every dollar you give to company B, it earns you only $0.20. Cent. As an investor, of course we will choose the higher return on our investment which is why we choose company A. The higher the ROE, the more effective the management is in using your money to generate profit. More profits to the company, the stock become more valuable. How do we calculate ROE for listed company? In my previous video on how to know whether a stock is profitable, you can watch it here. I actually show how to get a company annual report. In the statement of income, you can get the net income. In the balance sheet, you can get the shareholders' equity. For example, this is the 2019 annual report for Adobe. Numbers are in thousands. As shown in the statements of income, net income is 2,951 million. To get the average shareholder equity, go to the balance sheets. We use the figures in 2019 and 2018, which is 10,530 million plus 9,362 million divided by 2. The average is 9,946 million. The return on equity will be 29.67%. Fortunately, now we can get the data more easily. You can search for an individual stock in this link, which you can find in the description below. Adobe, its ROE is 29.1% in year 2019. The number is slightly different, plus and minus 1% different. You can use this to cross-check. Link is in the description below. The ROE is on gradual increase from year 2014 to current year, which is a good sign for their management effectiveness. When we are assessing the ROE, do check back the ROE for the past 5 years to get the 5 years average. Do compare to the competitor's ROE to get a sense of management efficiency in their respective industries. Before I give another bonus example, do smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you support our efforts in providing free financial education to improve the lives of many. For Alphabet, the company that owns Google, its ROE in 2019 is 17.79%. The ROE is consistently above 10%, except for the last quarter in 2017. It's only 8.4%. If you believe in Google earnings ability, you may need to do extra research to find out why they have lower ROE in 2017. Please do your own due diligence before purchasing a stock. 
Return on equity is just one part of the fundamental analysis for a stock. Do subscribe to learn more. That's it for this video. Stay tuned.